couple of days ago, I did an introductory video on Coach, which is an AI assistant to search and chat with your own documents. The best thing about this tool is that you can do this chat offline. You can interact with Coach on your computer from Emacs, Obsidian, and even from your own web browser. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install this code on your local system. I'll be using AWS EC2 instance with Ubuntu installed on it. And the AWS EC2 instance which I'm using, the instance type is G4DN at large. It has one NVIDIA GPU. You can even run it on CPU, but that would just induce some delay. Anyway, so the first thing which you need to do is to log into your EC2 instance which I already have done, as you can see on my screen, and I'm already there. Let me clear the screen to make it more um, visible. Okay, now I will be running this in Conda. I already have Conda installed because that makes it very easy to create your own Python environment. So let me check Conda version. So this is my Conda version. Okay, let me clear the screen again. Let me check a bit bigger. Let me create first the uh, environment for Conda. The syntax is Conda create action. And let's call it coach. And let me use Python 3.9 for this purpose. And this is going to create my Conda environment. Just press yes here. And let's wait for it to finish. It's already finished. Let's next activate this environment. Conda activate code. That's it. And you can see we are in the code environment now, as you can see here in the uh, word code in the brackets okay so that's done now one thing i want to tell you is that i will be using this terminal but i will also be using a vnc uh, for my gui but i will show you uh, that little bit later now let me first install this code here in order to install code all you need to do is to run this command Python dash m pip install code assistant. So let's run it. And the good thing is that it has a lot of things already uh, packaged in it. So you don't have to worry about a lot of dependencies. So let's wait for it to finish. It takes a bit of a time. While this installation happens, let, let me show you my VNC environment, which I will be using for. Um, my GU access. So it's the same server, but I'm connected to it through VNC. VNC is simply a virtual network computer which you can use to access GUI on Ubuntu or any other Linux system too. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I have another video and I will drop the link in video description. Okay, so I'm already logged in there to my VNC and here uh, let's see which Conda environments are there. Conda ENP list. And so we are in the base one. So let's Coach one, going to activate coach. And so you can see that we are now in the coach environment. Okay, so let's wait for the other one in my terminal one to finish and then we'll come back here. It is still running. Let's wait for it to finish. So coach has been installed. Now let's go to GUI and run um, the code GUI from there. One thing which we need to do before we could run it is to make sure that we have this um, variable set, which is QT underscore QPF platform is equal to off screen. Otherwise, sometimes it doesn't really give us the GUI properly. Okay. Now run coach dash dash GUI and let's run it. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so it's finished already. It has it's been running in on our local host at port 42110. Let me open it there. So you can see that it is open in my local browser. Let me try to set this VNC screen so that you would be able to see it. Just give me a sec. Unfortunately, it is not properly showing in my VNC screen, but let me try to show you how to do the initial settings. So, but you have seen that the installation is done. Now on the right hand side, there's a settings option, click here. And then in the settings one, you can set your GitHub. Uh, so this is your GitHub. You can go with the Notion, Markdown, 
and then this is markdown and then this is pdf you can set this one too and if you come down um, there is an option which is called as chat so let you can enable offline chat by clicking on it and it will enable the llama v2 version um, it is not showing it here unfortunately but i could try to show you if it, okay unfortunately it is not showing it on my screen but it is there on this page okay uh, in the next video i'll try to fix this um, code interface on my another ubuntu server which is which has direct gui and then i will show you there but having said that you can see that installing code is fairly simple it's not hard all you need to do is to follow through these steps but i believe that still it can be improved a lot um, having said that you can chat it through or if, let me see okay you can chat it offline uh, just like it showed you or you can use your open ai key so this is it guys i hope that you like the video uh, my apologies for um, this pnc um, thing but let me fix it and create another video on how to use Koj after installing it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.